remember this day like it was just yesterday. I was flooded with such an overwhelming amount of emotion. I sat on my footlocker shining my shoes for graduation. All the memories of what our platoon went through were racing through my head. A test of all tests, and we made it. We spent all morning getting prepared for graduation. We looked as sharp as those marine robots who snapped and popped their way out of the duty hut way back in phase one. We looked, behaved, and acted like U.S. Marines. We had finally come together like brothers. The unity within each of us is something I'll never forget. When we started boot camp, we were a selfish bunch. We disliked one another. There were so many times we wanted to throw down outside with one another. Those thoughts and feelings were long gone. This day, we would have died for one another. Our DIs would push us beyond the limits. The preparation for graduation continued, along with my memories of the challenges in which we overcame. But there we were, once again, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Not for another 30 minutes, that is. One of our pickup DIs took it upon himself to thrash us right there in the barracks, moments before graduation. It kind of gives a whole new meaning to, here, have one on me for the road. A pickup DI is a newbie. It's common for them to be assigned to a platoon after they graduate DI school. Instead of the standard three DIs, our platoon finished with six drill instructors. However, at this point in training, the recruits are now savvy and salty. The head games, though always stressful, have been figured out. I recall a newbie in my face screaming at me on graduation day. I just stood there like a robot, emotionless, staring straight ahead. What was I thinking? I was thinking he might want to spend a little more time brushing his teeth and gargling. He had no emotional impact over me whatsoever. I was laughing inside. Now, it's no disrespect to the D.I., it's just that by this stage of the game, you've got it figured out. You're molded into mental toughness. That's just the way it is. I often look back on those days. I wish my family and Dan were able to come witness something some of them never thought I could ever accomplish. I didn't blame them either. I was 27 years old, overweight, and out of shape. I had a temper a mile long, and you couldn't tell me anything. I couldn't go to Dan's graduation because I was already starting my own training cycle, and Dan was attending to his own responsibilities as well. My family couldn't make the long trip because they had work and family matters to deal with. If it wasn't for Dan, I would have never enlisted. In many ways, boot camp saved my emotional life. The hate and anger I had carried around in me was destroyed by the fear and the angst in which the Corps bombarded me with. It was a missile that destroyed who I once was, and they molded and shaped me only into a U.S. Marine and hopefully a better man. You don't graduate Marine Corps boot camp by accident. Nobody can ever say anyone who made it through Marine boot camp made it by a means of a fluke. You can bet your butt the Marine Corps won't let that happen. Hours later, I was marching to the sounds of the Marine Corps hymn. I was overcome with such a pride, a sense of humbleness and respect because I was marching on the same parade deck as many Marines who fought in the Battle of Bella Wood, to which enemy soldiers called the U.S. Marines Tuffelhunded, which means Devil Dogs, a nickname in which Marines share pride in to this very day. I thought about the Marines who fought in the Battle of Guadalcanal, 
the Battle of Tarawa, Iwo Jima, and the Chosen Reservoir, just to name a few. My thoughts were not of me that memorable day. They were locked on history and present day. I was focused on how proud I was of my platoon, 3011, and my drill instructors. I was so loyal and ready to give my life for any of them if called upon. They say the Corps trains killers to fight to die. We fight to stay alive. We fight to keep each other alive. We fight to preserve peace for the homeland and to fight for those that aren't strong enough to fight for themselves. Our enemy fights for the right to die. A U.S. Marine provides them that passage. We fight for a way of life, the right to live, the right to exist, the right to live in peace and willing to make the greatest sacrifice in order to uphold that quality of life. I find it ironic how I laid in my wreck the night of training day one and silently wept and questioned my decisions of being there. My last day in boot camp was filled with silent tears of joy. I was crying on the inside, but this time for different reasons. I was so damn proud of myself. It was overwhelming. I spent all of boot camp watching those planes fly in and out all day and well into the night, wishing I was on one of them. My joy had nothing to do with the planes on graduation day. It had everything to do with facing every fear I ever had, being ridiculed and broken down physically, mentally, and emotionally, yet finding a way to overcome and proudly earn the title United States Marine. There is no group so enthusiastic about our history than Marines. We are proud of where we come from, our culture, and our history. No Marine will ever forget the names of his or her drill instructors. My last moments on MCRD San Diego found me with my sea bag draped over my shoulder. It's funny how I couldn't wait to get the hell out of there. This day, I didn't want to leave. I proudly stood there overlooking a now deserted parade deck. I was nearly the last to leave. I was alone in my thoughts, but I wasn't alone in spirit. As I looked out across the infamous parade deck, I could hear the Marine cadence and all of the boots of every Marine that marched before me. I dropped my sea bag and came to an attention and provided a salute I didn't want to end. They say there is no worse enemy or no better friend than a United States Marine, and that's true, just ask our enemies. I had completed my training, and now it would become time to go overseas to Japan, South Korea, and the Philippines, but not before a brief visit home to visit my family and my friends back in Wisconsin. You must work hard to strengthen your body, your spirit, and your mind. Be proud of yourself and the uniform you wear. Above all else, never quit or give up. We offer you the challenge of recruit training and the opportunity to earn the title, United States Marine.